everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope everyone is having a great St. Patrick's Day or you had a great St. Patrick's Day. It's not over with yet, so party on. So I'm just going to wait a couple of minutes to see who's on. And then I'm going to get started. So today what I'm going to show or showcase is the All Adorn set. Now, if you're like me, this is a free set that you can get in celebration for celebration item. That is not sold out. <laughs> I know a lot of items have sold out. This has been the hottest celebration that I can recall in my 18 years as being a demonstrator. So the only thing I can tell you is if you see something, you like it, buy it because there's just no guarantees especially when it says limited okay while supplies last I know it's frustrating when things sell out but there's a reason why it says limited and while supplies last okay so hi Win Ann hi Linda hi Diana hi Philomena I know a couple of people passed me I didn't see who it was sorry about that again happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody and if you can't see my shirt, let's see, there it is. This is my Irish Club staff shirt from when my dad used, ran the Irish American Association. I used to serve, help him serve the corned beef and cabbage dinners. And this shirt comes out every year. I still wear it. We don't do that anymore since he passed away. But I had a nice dinner with my, my mom and my aunt and my sister. So, so hi, happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay, so again, we're gonna, I'm going to be showcasing the All Adorned set. And what I'm going to also show you today and showcase is, let me put my glasses on, the 2017-2019 colors that will be retiring in the next catalog in June. Okay, the new catalog um, comes out. This, end, this catalog ends June 3rd. The reason I'm saying that is because, trust me, I, I've been around for 18 years. I know the celebration items right now are hot and things are selling out. I guarantee you, after celebration, what's going to happen is that all of these colors are going to start to sell out, especially the re-inkers. Think about it. You might have bought all the paper. You might have bought all the stamp pads. But don't be left out without a reinker. You can keep using those stamp pads, okay, forever. But you got to have the reinkers. And when when these colors, the in colors for that year, retire, so do the reinkers. So please get them, uh, order them now, okay? All right. So let me just flip the camera. Uh, having trouble lining up the stamps in that set. Well, I'll tell you, Vicky, you're gonna see what I did. Um, I, I love my Stamparatus, and I use it all the time, but there are certain sets that I don't really try to line up because I kind of like the way that they come out without it. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just a matter of preference, okay? So, again, and I always forget to introduce myself because I know we're always on together on Friday mornings and, Saturday, and Sunday evenings, but Rose Ward Stamper's Delight. Okay, so let me flip the camera. Okay, and if you're ordering online, here is my host code for the month. If you can't see it, it's AM9KJXHF. And it'll also be on my uh, blog or website. Now, one of the things I did as a special today only, if you placed an order online with me um, and ordered anything green, I don't care what it is, anything green, I will send you a surprise in the mail. So for you ladies that have already ordered, don't worry, your surprise will be out this week. Okay, so the first thing again is this All Adorned set. Now I will be the first one to admit, and anybody that stamps with me knows, I do not lie. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about the set. I was like, yeah, okay, it's nice. Uh, once you start stamping with it, I fell in love with it. Okay, so that's free with a $50 order. It is not sold out yet, so it's still available. Bring in the next thing. On page 183 of the catalog is the 2017-2019 colors that will be retiring June 3rd. 
Okay, hi Sandy. Powder Pink, Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, Berry Burst, and Fresh Fig. I love the lemon lime, well, let's put it this way. I, I should ask you a question. Which one are you gonna miss the most? For me, it's gonna be Berry Burst. Powder, powder Pink I love, but there's other pinks I like too. Lemon Lime Twist, love Lemon Lime Twist, but I got Granny Apple Green. To me, Berry Burst is going to hurt because I love Berry Burst. So don't forget to get those and don't forget to get the reinkers. So let me show you a couple of the cards that I worked on today because I had my class yesterday. The first one I want to bring in is for St. Patrick's Day. And this is the all, uh, the all adorned, it's these two stamps right here. And I did those in Call Me Clover, which is not retiring, and Mint Macaron. And I just did a border. And Vicki, you see what I mean? I didn't, um, I didn't try to line those up at all. Oh, so okay. So everybody's putting in what ones they're gonna be sad to see go. So I would love, I would love to know which one is your favorite that you're gonna miss. So what I did was for this, I used again the all adorn stamp set but then I used from the amazing life I used the good luck and the clover there to make a, a St. Patrick's Day card and this designer series pa paper in the back there is from uh, it's in the new ca the big catalog not the occasions catalog okay quick simple easy card nothing on the inside because after St. Patrick's Day, I might be able to use it for something else. But this card is for all of you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Uh, the next one I want to show you is, I'll bring this one in. Now, I used the Country Floral Embossing Folder, which is also a celebration item. If you can see, that's white. This is with the powder pink and our stitch framelits ovals with lots of love which is in this this uh, stamp set and of course our silver our white with the silver uh, metallic ribbon and then for this I made it into um, I didn't want to use one of these sayings so I used the saying to floral phrases may your love grow stronger deeper and more beautiful with every passing year this could be a wedding card it could be an anniversary card but i thought that was really pretty in the pink now the the card that i'm going to be doing and the fold that i'm going to be doing i'll show you right now i'm going to bring it in this is with the um designer series paper painted seasons and this is the one side of it, and this is the opposite side. And it really looks nice using the two different sides. Let me bring it up close. And you see that what I did was I used the powder pink with this stamp right here. And I'm going to give you the measurements and everything of that, okay? And I just did a little miss you card. Now, this doesn't have a, doesn't open that way, okay? You see, it's just a, where did I put my, I have them written down here so that I could give, oh, there they are, my directions. Okay, so this piece right here is four and a quarter by five and a half, the base. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'll, I'll put that on the end of the video too. This piece inside flips up like that. And it just says, miss you, happy day. And again, I inked it really light, stamped off, because I kind of like that effect. Okay, Vicki. Vicki wants to do the mirror, mirroring image. Okay, I will put that on my list, definitely. So I call this a middle fold card. Card. Ah, it's, it's folded in the middle. So again, this is your base. Okay, so your base is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this flat piece, and you'll see it'll make sense. Okay. Um, well, let's finish here. The white piece inside is four by five and a quarter. Those are measurements I use a lot. Okay. These strips are just leftovers that I had from another card that I did. 
And this flap right here is actually um, three and three quarters wide and eight and a half long, folded in half. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that after I show you the other ones that I did. This one is in the lemon lime twist. Now this one I did use the Stamparatus. I used the Stamparatus for the corners because I wanted it to be pretty exact. And again, this is with the Painted Seasons paper. Lots of love. You are pretty much the best ever. And that's all there is to it. It's just a different little fold that I came up with that I thought was kind of cute. Casing the not only the stamp set, but the colors that are going to be going away. This one is in the Fresh Fig. The Fresh Fig with the, uh, what is it, the Petal Promenade uh, Designer Series paper, again, in the big catalog. And again, I used this flower paper here, but then the the inside because it's two-sided that's the other side of the paper right here and I'll show you what I how I did that too I do this a lot with when I have um, a color and then a whiter uh, or white or off-white ribbon and then a narrow narrower ribbon I like to do it twice so that you get the two the two bows you see now when you open that one, this one I used um, for the sayings, I used Botanical Bliss, and I used the Best Wishes, and then when you open it up, it says especially for you. This could be for a wedding or an anniversary, and you see what I mean about having the two ribbons? There's your white metallic, and then inside there, I got that very narrow, fresh fig, because remember, any colors associated with these colors will also be going away. Hi, Patty. Oh, you love that one? Okay, well, you're going to like the next one, I think, too. The next one is with Berry Burst. And again, the Petal Promenade Designer Series paper. Now, this one, I, I kept the flowered side up. So when you look at it, I'll bring it up close. And this ribbon I love, too. And that's Berry Burst. That'll be going away. And I did the Fresh Fig with the one stamp and the Berry Burst with the other. And these are the two stamps that I used for that. Hi, Lisa. And then when you open that one up, it says lots of love. Just cute, simple. And this fits right in a regular size envelope because it's a regular card. It just has a center flap. So what I'm going to show you today, I'm going to do next, is this one. Again, this is with the Painted Season um, designer series paper and you can get that in a bundle but with the stamp set painted seasons or you can get the designer series paper by itself now if you notice here I didn't use designer series paper on the top only on the edges and again I used the powder pink but then I used blushing bride to make the saying a little bit darker and I used that great ribbon that I love so much this one right here because it ties so easy. The variegated ribbon, petal pink. Petal pink goes great with the powder pink. And then when you open it up, I did birthday wishes. And again, I put a little stamp down here. Uh, birthday wishes is from the Itty Bitty Birthdays. Another go-to set of mine for birthday sayings. If you don't have it, you're going to want it. Okay. Um, so this one I'm going to show, let's do this one first, okay? I have two other things to show you, but let me just show you how I did the card. I don't want to hold, I don't, I want you to see some stamping. Ugh, let me grab this. Okay, so let's start. So again, the first piece that I'm using, this is our base piece, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Again, that's the size, I use this size a lot. Inside that, I'm using four by five and a quarter. And you see how nicely it, it um, lines up there and just gives a little pink edge. Then I'm going to bring in this piece. This is my other folded edge. This is the flap right here. So it's three and three quarters by eight inches. 
for this one, I'm using this I have to trim. And did I bring my paper trimmer over here? Hopefully I did. Should be right there. Yep. So for this one, now remember the designer series paper, um, this paper right here would be three and a half by three and a half by three and a half. And then this smaller piece would be two and three quarters by two and three quarters, the white. But I'm not doing that. I'm putting a white piece here. So I need that to be three and a half by three and a half. So let me just cut that. And remember, I have the number two on there. That means that I changed this blade, three and a half, um, in February, so that I know when I have to change it again. One of them I just did, so I put a three on it for March. Okay. And this is going to be three and a half by three and a half. And I may want to trim it down more. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's three and a half by three and a half. Now, let's see. How's that fit on here? Because I just want a little bit of the pink showing. Yep. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and the, uh, the white piece. These are strips that were left over, again, from another project that I did. You can use either side. But, of course, I want to use this side because it matches. These are one, one inch by four inches. And you see that fits right on each edge. Again, this is why you save your scraps. So let me just go ahead and snail that down. And that snail ran out, so I have to get some more. I'll just grab my fast fuse. And I'm just going to put this right on the edge here. Um, oh, there's my other snail. I always have backups. Okay, and this one's going to go on the other end. Now, before I put the whole card together, I am going to stamp the inside of it. Okay, so for the inside of this one, I'm going to put lots of love. Because I want to use this stamp set so I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to use the powder pink. Remember, this is a color that's, that is going away, retiring. And my mat is somewhere over on my table, so we're just going to wing it. I do that a lot, don't I? Okay. Now, I like to have something on the inside a little bit more. Just give it a little bit, I don't know, more dim dimension, definition. So I'm going to ink it off once and then right over top of it. And you can see that it just gave it a real faint look there. Oh, you can definitely use my idea for this, Vicki. It's, it's such a fun card, and it's so easy. So that's the inside, which is going to be layered right on here. But, of course, this has to go on first. So we're just going to fold this in half. And I know my bone folder's here. Yay! Didn't lose that yet. Just going to burnish that real good. Before I put the whole card together, I'm going to stamp, okay? So, again, this piece is going to go right here. But let me show you what happens. This is going to get glued behind there, like that. Okay? So, that's, let me just fix that a little bit. I want this a little, a little bit more. There we go. Okay. All right, so bring this back in. Now for this one, I'm going to use Best Ever. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just add a color to it. I'm going to add the Blushing Bride. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the saying on there so that I can do the bottom of it. Okay, so let's do the saying. And again, you should use your mat, which I don't have near me, so I don't want to have to get up. I'm going to put that right about here. Okay, there's the Blushing Bride. Now I'm going to bring in my two stamps. And again, these I think this is what you were talking about, Vicki. I don't try to line these up. Okay. So, 
I'm going to take this one in the darker color. I'll do this one in the lighter. It doesn't really matter which way, whichever way you want to do it. So I'm going to do this in the powder pink. Just going to go across the bottom. They can overlap. It doesn't matter. It's just a design. That over there. Then I'm going to take the Blushing Bride. The only thing I try to do with this one is wherever those that little um, opening is right there, I do try to get the point in there. But it's not. it doesn't really matter because it comes out good either way. It, it's just a design. There we go. Put that over here. So I have my border. All right, let me just put this over here before I get my hands in it. Now, I'm not going to snail this down. I want to use dimensionals. I wanted a little bit of a dimensioned card. So I'm going to go ahead and put dimensions here, dimensionals here. This is the quickest, easiest fun fold or fancy fold, whatever you want to call it, that I think I've ever done. Just gonna lay that right there. Okay, so here's my small card. Now I'm gonna bring that piece over here and I'm just gonna run some snail. On the in it looks like it's the inside of the card, but it's not. I'm gonna take this piece, line it up, if you can see what I'm doing, where there's the score, there's where I folded it. Bring it in here. Lay it down, fold that. There's your flap. And then I'm just gonna run some snail all the way across the back and layer it onto my powder pink. And that's all there was to it for a flap, middle flap. Okay, Vicky says you're supposed to line up the little dots. Well, here's the thing. If I had if I was did everything I was supposed to do, <laughs> I would I wouldn't be stamping. I kind of am a rebel. I do how I do it however I want. <laughs> so there's the card. Now, just to give it a little bit more embellishment, what I did was I grabbed some rhinestones. And I took my flirty flamingo, or I'm sorry, this is dark pirouette, which is retired, but you can use any of the pinks that you want. This one is doesn't come out quite as dark. So let me get my flamingo. I thought I had the flamingo. Flamingo is going to be darker, which is what I want. So I'm going to grab my flamingo, and I'm going to go ahead and color these rhinestones. I do them when they're on the paper. It's just easier for me. I think I'll do four of them. I know they say to do an, an odd amount, but sometimes I just don't do what I'm supposed to do. Ask my mother. As a child, I did that all the time. Okay, I don't, I'm just going to use, there's my take your pick tool. I'm just going to put that one right there. Grab that one. Put it. Helps if you grab it first. Put it right there. Take this one. Put it right there. And then the third one, or the fourth one, I think I'm just going to put down there. So I made it a little bit different than this one. You don't have to put ribbon on it, but I think the ribbon really makes it. Oh, sorry, Susan. Susan said she lost her Wi-Fi. Well, you can re-watch it. And then I'm just going to... i got to order some more of this ribbon because I'm so afraid that this is not going to make it to the new catalog. And trust me when I say I want it to. I wouldn't even mind seeing it in a lot more colors. I'm looking for my suit. There we go. Okay. I uh, would love to see it. I would love to see it in every single color we have to tell you the truth. I just absolutely love this ribbon. And then I'm just going to tie that. 
this and the dotted tool there are the easiest ribbons for me to play with and to tie. Yeah, I, I used way too much, but I don't care. I want to make it a little tighter, though. Okay, so this one, let me just tie it again. Do it the right way, which is, for me, the right way is upside down. This is so thin, you can tie it in a knot first to help you get it tighter. There we go. I know I do waist ribbon. Nothing like messing up your bow on live TV. Okay, there we go. And then I just play with it. Play with the tails a little bit and then I'll just trim it to how I want it and then once I have it trimmed again I can play with that a little bit more and there you have it this I think I'm going to just trim just a little bit more there we go so that's all there was to it that was it just a quick little middle fold card i'm going to bring in the other ones but i have another uh card to show you before i do that but again this is my fancy fold or um fun fold for tonight i thought it was cute yes i do like pink <laughs> so i hope you like that one i will put the size the dimensions again and i will bring the cards in again before that i want to remind you here's the colors that are going to be retiring and I do have one more card to stamp. And of course the pink, which is right here. You can see these were the old style. So these are the five colors that are going away. If you have these colors, you definitely want to get the refills. Okay, so let me show you another quick card. And I'm going to show it to you one way and, of course, do it in a different color. So this is the one that I did. The Remember, uh, a couple of videos back, I inked up the folder with uh, Bami Blue. And then I ran it through the embossing, for, uh, the Big Shot, and this is how it came out. Well, what I did, since I had a couple of these left, was I used the new tag punch that we have, which is right here. And again, I don't know. I thought I read this might be carried over, but... I don't see that, so I think I was just dreaming. <laughs> so you want to get this punch now, okay? But I'm going to show you how I did that little hole on each side. And again, lots of love. And this is the inside. And again, this is the all adorned. So let me bring this in and show you. Okay, so I already did this piece. We, we did that at a... Uh, video before and if you didn't see that you can go back on YouTube and find it so again this is on white now if you notice this one is the off white and this is white and look at the two different effects you get so we're gonna do this one on white so I'm gonna take my cardstock this is my balmy blue I'm gonna go ahead I don't know if you can hear that heat kicking on I'm in the basement and I just turned the heat up because it was getting a little chilly out okay so that's my card base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to stamp lots of love. I'm going to bring the balmy blue in. So first thing I'm going to do is ink this up. Stamp that. You can see I just re-inked the blue. Bring in my punch. And again, this is in the, um, this is Celebration Coordination. Now, you can put this on the card. Let me bring this other one over here. You can put this on the card just like that, and it would look fine. You could also use some ribbon, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the silver and white. This was off-white because of the very vanilla. You could just lay that down like this and do that it would look fine just like that but what I did was I took this punch and if you have those little punches from last catalog and this was the watermelon one remember those four little 
punches. What I did was I just put that in here, right where that tab is. I just slid that in there, punched a hole, and made it like a ribbon slide. And just try to line it up as best you can. You know me, I don't measure anything. So there you have two slots. Okay, let me bring that up so you can see it. Okay. Then all you have to do is take your ribbon and feed it through like that. Now for this one, I don't need a lot because I, I glue it on the back. I'm just going to snip off a little bit here. And even if you don't have this punch, any kind of slotted punch will work. So for this one, I'm just going to flip it over, put it right about there. I'm going to flip this over here, put a little snail on the back here. Okay. I'm doing it upside down. It doesn't quite work for me. I do that to hold this in place, and I use snail because I can move it in the back if I need to. Let me just flip that back over this way. And you can slide that wherever you want it. If you want it in the middle, that's fine. I'm going to put it kind of over here. And then, before it moves anywhere, I'm going to go ahead and snail this down. I always put snail over the back of the ribbon back here so it holds it in place better. I'm just going to layer that right on. There's the dimensional pieces again. I'm going to just lay that right over here. Okay, and then what I do is I'm going to take another piece of that ribbon, just a small tad piece. I'm just going to loop that right through here and tie this just like that. So it looks like a bow, but it's a fake bow. It's a faux bow. <laughs> And just trim it enough so you can see the saying there. Okay. Just put that aside for one second. And then I have my two stamps. I think I'm going to use this one. Let's eat this, clean this off over here first. Make sure it's all clean. Yeah. I'm going to ink that up. I'm going to make some. Yeah, you can see how dark the blue is. That's only because I just re-inked it. Once it soaks in, it will get lighter again. I know, it almost looks like Pacific Point or something. But it is, trust me, it's the balmy breeze. Or balmy blue. Alright, and then I'm going to take the inside. And we'll just stamp that in here. Some of these cards will be... I will be mailing to you if you get your name picked. If I pick your name, I'm going to be picking three winners tonight. Um, not for the happy mail, but for my door prizes. And I'll show you that at the end. Just going to slide that right in here. Okay. And then I'm going to again bring in some rhinestones in my dark blend pen. And I'm just going to, doesn't look like it's even coloring them on here. Or you can use the other end. Just going to get some color onto these. You can't see it so much until you actually put it next to one. And if I bring it up, it they look the same until you really get them close. And then you'll see that uh, there's like a blue tint to the rhinestones. I want this big one right here. Okay. You could use pearls too, or sequins. And then I'm just going to grab this big one, put that right there, and then grab a couple of the smaller ones. And I'm just going to randomly put these wherever I feel like it. That's too close for me. You see what I mean? It looks like a square. I don't like that. <laughs> so let's change that up. There we go. 
So that's all there was to that one. So what do you think? Hi, Pamela. So there's the blue ones. And again, this is the All Adorned set. There's a lot more you can do with it. These, This is what I played with today. I'll bring in these cards again. This is with the uh, Lemon Lime Twist. Very easy fold. Very uh, creative fold. Not hard to do. I will have still pictures of this later tonight. This one's probably my favorite, except for the berry burst, because <laughs> I love berry burst, and I am going to show you that little trick, too. Here's my berry burst. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite. So again, which color are you going to miss the most? For me, it's berry burst. And then, of course, this one. And this one. So before I, before I pick the names of the winners, I wanted to show you what I was talking about with this ribbon right here. What I do is I take this real narrow ribbon and I line it up here like that. I don't glue it or anything. I just kind of pull it together like that. I cut it. I'll cut a piece. I'll wrap it around the card and I tie it in a bow together to get that double bow. Okay, so that was a little neat trick I thought. I, I like to do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cards. I'm going to pick some names in a minute, but I just wanted to remind you again, if you see something you like, get it now. Hi. Don't wait because it may be sold out, okay? So I hope you enjoyed my middle flap fold card. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. But um, I will put the dimensions on there for you. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for um, being understanding about the you not being on Friday. But coming on today. So here's what's going to happen. I will be on Friday morning. But I won't be on next Sunday. So it's going to be kind of like a flip-flop back back and forth kind of thing for the next couple of weeks. I just have other commitments and family things and classes going on. So I will be on at least once a week and I will tell you ahead of time which day. So I'm telling you now it's Sunday. Oh, you're welcome, Maureen. Maureen got her happy mail. Um, I will be on Friday morning. Okay. With something totally different. So let me pick some winners here. And, oh, let me show you what we're giving away. Now, these may be retired, but the colors are not yet. So I have a Tranquil Tide ribbon. I, wanted to, I grabbed them because it was green. I wanted to do everything green today. And I have two of the Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm picking three winners. Each person's going to get one of these, okay? Uh, the first person that sends me uh, their, well, actually I have, yes, the first person that sends me their address will get to pick which one they want and so on and so forth. But So you might not get the one you want, but okay. So let me drum roll, please. Here we go. The first name is Pam Klein. Pam Klein, winner of one of the ribbons. All right, second name. Patricia Goldenberg. Patricia Goldenberg. And who's the third one? Pamela Simmons. And I know Pamela's on because I just saw her. Pamela, you won too. So those are the three win winners. Pam Klein, Pat Goldenberg, and Pam Simmons. So if I don't have your address, uh, Pam Klein, I have yours. Just uh, private message me, email me your address, and I will get you out one of these green ribbons for St. Patrick's Day. Thank you again for tuning in. I enjoy my Sundays with you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Great week, and I will see you on Friday morning for Friday uh, Facebook Live, Friday morning at 7 a.m. Bye. Happy stamping.